Welcome to Devices Setup and today we will learn how to set up TP-Link RE653BE Wi-Fi 7 BE10000 range extender. So in this video today we will check two setup methods. First is WPS and second is browser. So let's get started with the WPS setup first. To start with, first make sure to plug the extender into a power outlet and wait for around 120 seconds until it boots up properly. After 120 seconds, press the WPS button present on your router and within 2 minutes, press the WPS button present on the side of the extender. In case you are not able to locate the WPS on the router, then you can watch video given in the description. Next, once you press the WPS button, then you will see a blinking LED on the extender and on the router. Now, within 60 seconds, you will see the solid WPS and Wi-Fi LED on the extender. In case the setup is unsuccessful, then it can be possible that the WPS is disabled on the router. So you will first have to log in into your router and enable the WPS. We have given video in the description which shows how to do it. Now, if this method is not working for you, then you can try the second setup method which is through browser. So for this too, plug the TP-Link RE653BE extender into a power source. Next, grab your phone or tablet or laptop or MacBook and then open any browser on it like Chrome, Safari or Firefox and then into the URL or address bar type tplinkrepeater.net or 192.168.0.254 and hit enter. Now you will need to create a new login password. In the next window, you will have to select 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz SSID of your router's network that you want to extend. Moreover, you will need to type its password for verification. Once done, click on next and hit save settings. On successful setup, you will be able to see your extender's network in your Wi-Fi list with underscore ext suffix right after your home network name. You can also set up this extender as one mesh network. Watch video given in the description to learn how to do it. And if your TP-Link BE10000 RE6563BE extender is not working or if it's showing an offline status, then watch video given in the description to learn how to reset it and how to fix it. Lastly, if you found this video useful, then please do hit like and subscribe to support my efforts. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.